Hi, this is your Center of Gravity Golf Professional, Rob, and welcome back. You know, a lot of people ask me in my seminars, you know, Rob, what is the power source for your golf swing? What are the power sources for your golf swing? And really, there's two major power sources for your golf swing, and they're both based on rotation. You know, rotation is tremendously powerful. You know, in the human body, linear force is really not very powerful unless there's uh, hydraulics behind it. It's all about rotation. Rotation is your power source in, in golf. The primary rotation of the golf swing, I call the engine. When you, put, when you get the club to the top of your swing, the primary power source for your golf swing is the engine rotation. The engine rotation, when you turn the engine back toward the target, its job is to pull the golf club to the bottom of your swing. Now your engine will pull the golf club to the bottom of your swing faster than you can throw it or pull it with your hands or arms. That's the first power source. The second power source, which is the most powerful move in golf, I call the piston. And the piston is the release movement. It's really very simple. This is what it is. Put your left hand out in front of your palm facing down and turn it up. That's the most powerful move in golf. That's the compression rotation. When you turn the engine, you're coming down through your golf swing. When you rotate that piston or fire the piston or release the golf club, that's the compression rotation. That's what squeezes a golf ball and makes it fly. <clears throat> you know, the most powerful piece of golf equipment in the world is not the $500 driver, it's the $5 golf ball. When you learn to squeeze a golf ball, the whole game changes. So learn your two power sources, fire, turn the engine, fire the piston, and you'll walk farther and straighter than you ever have in your life. You know, for 19 more video tips just like this, go to my website, www.cogolf.ca.